black splaining the Milwaukee riots. Oh my God, did that person really just say that? Did he seriously just say black splaining? Holy shit, I need to tell my entire friend list. I need to tweet this to Black Lives Matter. This must be the most racist person ever. We need to find out where they live and dox them. Okay, newsflash, I do not think that people should use the term black splaining. <laughs> I think it's racist. I also think that people shouldn't use the word white splain or mansplain or cis splain. I think that all of these terms are fucking moronic and bigoted, and in a year or two, anybody who seriously uses them will be severely embarrassed that they went that far down the social justice rabbit hole. Still, there is this thing that happens online that I have observed when black people start to discuss issues surrounding the black community. Or should I say, they fail to discuss things? Often they just shut down the conversation entirely, attempt to silence people, and claim that their ideas should be immune to criticism because they are black. And this has been going on throughout the entire Black Lives Matter movement. If a white person tries to engage and have a productive discussion with one of these people, they will often be accused of white-splaining, which is anti-intellectual and downright foolhardy. Often these people will say that they don't care what a white person has to say, but I think that that is counterintuitive to what this movement claims to want. White people are the majority of our nation, and they are who Black Lives Matter says are at fault for the deaths of black people. So shouldn't Black Lives Matter make sure their message is being heard by white people? I think somebody in the official leadership should consult advertising and PR and do a little market research about which demographics this is really hitting. Regardless, white splaining in quotes, is not necessarily a bad thing. It is not a bad thing to communicate. It is not a bad thing to explain things to people, especially on the internet, which is where people always accuse each other of these idiotic splaining words. The inherent implication of the word whitesplaining is that whenever a white person talks to a person of color about racism or social systems or whatever, that the white person is inherently in the wrong for doing that. Why is this? Well, the assumption is that the person of color must automatically know more about these things than the white person. Every white person. Because by the logic of SJWs that actually use these splaining words, anybody with any sort of lived experience around any subject automatically has the definitive, superior knowledge then should be treated like royalty. Which is just sad. It's like saying a white person knows everything about sunburns and skin cancer because they live and experience it. Fuck the hell off. I can admit that as a gay person, I don't know everything about being gay or human sexuality. Just being homosexual does not give me an intrinsic understanding of all that there is to know about being queer. Furthermore, I can also admit that a straight white male could study human sexuality and teach me some things I didn't know about being homosexual, potentially. Maybe he could teach me some things about gay sex that he learned from a book. I really don't know. When people legitimately believe that they are the only person that has access to a specific type of knowledge, they can also think that their actions are above scrutiny, and then they start posting memes like this one about the riots after the Giants won the World Series in SF. Look at this a moment. It's moronic. It's totally inaccurate. First off, it wasn't just white people rioting. It was everybody. Secondly, the media did cover it. Third, it was an entirely different situation with a different type of rioting. There weren't packs of people roaming the streets beating up people for their skin color. But God forbid you ever mention that to a black SJW. You might just get blacksplained too. Which, if somebody wanted to be racist, could easily be categorized as the times in which a black person relies on their identity as a black person in an argument instead of actually bothering to explain why they feel the way they do. When a black person insists that their opinion is correct simply because they are black without providing any further evidence, that should be called blacksplaining to racists. Here's an example where let's say someone starts talking about the meme. Hey, this meme isn't accurate. Yes, it is. Nobody ever cares when white people riot. But it wasn't only white people, and the news did cover it. Don't tell me how to feel about my own oppression as a black person. 
I'm not telling you how to feel. I'm talking about a meme that is factually inaccurate. You seem to believe that you can speak over a black person about an issue that affects us when you aren't black. How do you know I'm not black? You are obviously not black, or we wouldn't be having this conversation because you would understand already and you would be woke. You should not be taking up space here. You're just like a creepy doll or something anyway. Anyhow, the Milwaukee riots are yet another example of the excesses of the Black Lives Matter movement. I am not even like anti-Black Lives Matter necessarily. I'm still hoping that some good will come from it. But if things like this keep happening and Trump gets elected, I kind of doubt it will lead to anything positive for police reform. The protest was sparked by an actual armed criminal who was shot by a black cop, and then people basically attempted to start a race war. There's no excusing that. And of course, Black Lives Matter denies all involvement, as if none of the people rioting had ever heard of the hashtag. No, I bet these people are just super predator gang members who don't even know how to use the internet. Huh, Alicia Garza? Anybody who tries to excuse this will be full of hot air. But I repeat, do not accuse them of blacksplaining because that is racist and stupid. Just tell them they are full of shit and tell them exactly why. Okay, have a good day. Like and subscribe. Good night. Oh yeah, I changed my name. I'm, I'm Prince of Queens now. Bye.